What's up everyone, it's B the Installer and I'm here to show you two simple ways to raise and lower your TV, make it easy on you so you don't have to call the installer back and pay another $150. Of course, this is my wife Jen and like any good wife, she's here to point out what I've done wrong. And so while I thought that, you know, it looked good here, that, you know, things could be under this, uh, this is likely the height of an entertainment center, it's too short for the room to be honest. And maybe it's not ideal that the PS5 is 25 inches tall, but overall, even though the chairs are at eye level, I mean, you know, does it look like it's too short? So I'm gonna show you the two ways that I would raise or lower this TV. I'll show you the easiest way first and the more moderate way second. Hopefully one of them works for you. Make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let's get into it. So the first method that I use for raising and lowering the TV is checking the brackets of the TV mount and see if there's room to raise or lower the TV based on just moving the brackets on the TV. So if you can see here, there is actually about six inches of room where we could drop that mount relative to the TV, which would in turn raise the TV that six inches. And on the bottom here, you can see there's about three inches that if we lifted that mount up on the TV, it would lower the TV three inches. So you have to think opposites. If you're gonna take the TV brackets off the TV and you're gonna raise or lower them, the TV will then do the opposite of what you've done. It's kind of complicated to think about, but it's pretty easy once you actually get into it. So let's go ahead and take this TV off and we'll first try to raise this TV by lowering this bracket as far as we can and seeing if that is sufficient for the wife. So first we have to remove the safety screws, of course. If you don't know where the safety screws are, typically they're on the bottom of the bracket or they'll be something in the middle of the bracket if this piece releases from the entire uh, back piece. But you know, you can find that. I made a video on how to uninstall a TV as well as various installation videos, so check one of those out. But now that we've released those screws, now the bottom can kick out and we can go ahead and take this TV off the mount. Okay, you ready? I'll pull the bottom out and go up. You got most of the TV muscles. Go ahead and set it down. You can just hold the top part if you want, there you go. So as I'm gonna lower these brackets to raise it up, there is limiting factors, such as the bottom of the TV. So I can't actually lower it the full six inches here or this will just stick out below the TV. So really all I can do is lower this bracket down to the bottom of the TV and then just deal with that and hopefully that'll be enough. So the bottom of the TV is that limiting factor and then also where the screw holes line up. So I actually have to go up a little bit and if I get it to one of these holes, now that down there is in the way so I have to keep working back up until I can find where the two holes match. And doing that really only raise the TV a few inches. So let's go ahead and put the screws back in and see where that gets us. Also when tightening, as I said in my other video, make sure that you lift up on the bracket so that it's at the top or the bottom of the hole. Because if you do not lift or you do lift on one of them, but on the other side you don't, then you'll have a problem where the TV won't be level. So there we go, that's tightened and it's moved down just a couple inches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh hole down. We're gonna go ahead and move this bracket to the same one. And then we'll go ahead and throw it back up and see if that made much of a difference. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna make much of a difference for this TV and we may have to go on to option two, but this is gonna work for a lot of you. You know, lift back up on the bracket as I tighten. Okay, so now they're both down about as far as they can go without them being exposed underneath the TV. So we'll rehang this TV and see how it looks. Grab there or just go underneath if you want. Good. All right. Here, I can bring it out. Let me just bring it out your way a little bit so we can see. There you go. And there you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and push this in and see if that made a difference for us. All right, so that was the first attempt and it looks like it raised it up about two inches. And in this instance, it probably would work, but really ideally I was hoping that it would raise it up at least six inches so that we could 
you know, if we're standing in the back of the room, it'd be good. Or if we wanted to set the PS5 there, if we want the Xbox Series X, we'd have a little bit more room. And this is more of like an entryway seat than it is an entertainment center, but we just threw it here out of convenience. And here it sits for a couple months. Um, so if we move this out and we put something that's in the 36 inch range that can then house those things underneath it, we're gonna need the TV to be higher. So I think we're gonna go on to step two or the second way that I would do this, which is actually raising the wall plate on the back of the TV. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So of course, to show you the TV bracket and the wall mount and how to lift that up, we gotta take the TV back off, set it over there, gentle help out. Thank you. And we're good, and we'll just do the same way. All right. So now that we're gonna use the second method, which is raising the TV mount, or if you needed to lower the TV mount, we have to make sure that there's no power outlets or any other things that are gonna be in the way of us moving this mount up. So if I wanted to move the mount up, it's directly related now. So if I move the mount up, of course the TV will move up. So if there was anything above the TV mount, like a power outlet or a low voltage where all the cords ran through, we'd have to figure out if that was gonna work for us. Because what I really wanna do and what I recommend that you guys do is try to use the top hole as the bottom hole now. So take out all four holes, raise the TV mount up, and then use those bottom ones. Now, if you need an exact number, if you wanna go up exactly six inches, then this may not work because that's about nine inches there. Or we're gonna use the top holes as now the bottom holes, and then I'll just drill two more holes up here and we'll be good to go. It may expose these two bottom holes to below where the TV sits, and I may have to put some putty in that to fix it, but really to get it up significantly, you're gonna to have to do something like this where you just take the whole thing down and raise the TV mount. So I'll go ahead and pull these four out, put them up there and then we'll screw them in. And I've shown this before, but I actually have this adapter that connects my drill to the half inch uh, socket. And that works out really nicely for installers. So if you're an installer and you haven't gotten one of these, you definitely should. I'll pull these four bolts off really quickly and then I'm gonna immediately put the two bottom ones back in the top to get it to hold. And sometimes the TV mounts stick to the paint. I wouldn't recommend that you rely on such a thing, but uh, I'm gonna pull it off, all right? And like I said, now I could go ahead and just put these back in. And the reason I'll put them right back in is because it pretty much gives me a spot to know where I'm at, level, and then figure out where the next holes need to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. And while I wouldn't put a lot of stock or trust in the mount stain like that with any weight on it, It'll hold for a second. So I'm actually going to level the mount up first, then just drill the two holes and then put the bolts right in. As I've said before, always hand tighten. So this one's actually a little high. It's a little low, so we'll fix those two. All right, that's better. All right, so that's level, even though the top two aren't in. Now we'll drill our holes. So since I remember that in the installation, the stud was to the left of where I had marked it there, I'll hit the same spot just to the left of the center of this hole. I'll angle it down a little bit because I don't want to hit this bar right here. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with angling it down slightly. And I have a quarter inch drill bit here, so let's go ahead and do that now. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And now I have the two bolts and the ratchet back on here, the adapter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these two bolts in. And the other side. So normally I catch that with my dustpan. It's a little messy. We'll have to sweep up afterwards, but now I can go ahead and hand tighten just to make sure they're good. That one needed to be hand tightened a bit. That one is good that TV now will be eight inches higher than it was, give or take. So I'll ask Jen to come back out and help, throw the TV up and see if we have a good height. All right, so let's go ahead and lift this up. You wanna get your hand underneath it there. Good. Watch your toes. Watch my toes, you watch your own toes. 
Here, I got you. How's that? Look at that. Higher now, huh? Yeah. You're good. Let it go. Beautiful. So there we go. Now it's way too high. Perfect. <laughs> All right. All right, so now we've raised the TV a significant amount, but I mean, it does fit above the PS5 now, so what do you think about it? Does it look better to you? I think it looks fine. Okay, so we have that option. Now we could always just lower it back a little bit by having the brackets raise them up on the TV. We had a few more inches of clearance to raise them up, which would then lower it again, uh, maybe three or four inches, or you could always just make new holes in general. So. Um, we will have to clean these two holes up and the marks that I had made on the wall make that look pretty But overall, I you know, this gives you a good idea of how to do this And now we're gonna go upstairs and check out the bedroom TV because that was just a slight bit too high So let's go check that out. We have a TV in our bedroom We were planning on putting the sound bar under it But even with that it looks a little high and some people may have the desire to lower or raise their TV just an inch but for us, we can't really raise it a whole lot or lower it a whole lot because there's some issues behind the TV. Let me show you that. So first off, we have a box in the middle of the mount. So I could raise or lower it a couple inches, as you can see, by taking the TV down, taking the bracket down, raise or lower it a couple inches, and then putting it all back together, which is an option. And on the TV bracket, you can see there's only an inch to the bottom and a few inches up here to the top. So if I wanted to lower the TV an inch, I literally could let the TV drop on the mount one inch, and that is good for some people. So you take the TV off, raise that bracket an inch like I showed you, and then connect it back up, put it back on there, and then that TV would be one inch lower. And that does solve the problem for a lot of people. So those are two different ways I could lower this. Um, I probably will lower it by taking this bracket off lowering it a couple inches because I need a little more than an inch there, don't we all? And I just think that that will help because right now we have over a foot here. and I thought it would be the right height uh, with about a foot there. But as you can see, the TV's really close to the ceiling and overall the viewing angle is just a little higher than we'd like. So I think ideally for us, it would just be easier for us to take the whole thing down and lower it those few inches there. Um, or, you know, we could just leave it as is which I'm gonna do for now because my highest priority is getting that Sonos Arc connected to the mount. But while I'm doing that, it's probably best that I just get it all done, knock it out, and show you guys the finished product down the road. All right, so I hope this has all helped out. At least you should feel a little bit more comfortable understanding how to raise or lower your TV. Whether you do it or not is up to you. Maybe you still hire someone, who knows? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Is there an easier way for you to figure this out? Or let me know about any other installations that I may be able to show you some tips or tricks. Make sure to smash the like button on the way out, subscribe, set the notification bell to all, and check out one of the installs so you can be the installer.